and say, I hope I can convey the sense that, uh, as I say in the military, I had your back. And the back of your family as well. I just want to assure you that in my post-presidency, I got your back still. And I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life, like I hope any of you do, helping the vets and do what you can do. Uh, obviously, uh, you're doing pretty well, otherwise you wouldn't be here to be. Uh, and so anyway, I'm, I'm honored to be in your presence. I'm looking forward to watching you in action. I know I'm in good hands when I see all these tattoos. <laughs> God bless you, and I'm looking forward to saying hi. For the Navy Trials, uh, the Navy Window Warrior Program hosts trials every year. And it's an opportunity for Window Warriors, not only in the Navy, but in the Coast Guard as well, to come together for an entire week to compete for our top 40 slots to represent the Navy and the Coast Guard at the annual Department of Defense Window Warrior Games. The best thing about these Navy Trials for me has been uh, reuniting with my uh, second family essentially seeing everybody um, in the challenges of sports and just adapting to a new uh, new normal and uh, seeing them uh, grow we all say since the Navy is hosting the Warrior Games this year in Chicago that we're gonna take the most golds and we're gonna you know show up all the other services but the the importance of the Navy trials is one, the camaraderie, one, the jokes and laughter, but it's, it's also giving us a gauge of what we can do. Um, and we always talk about there's no limitations. You're an athlete if you have a body. So everybody here is an athlete. No matter what shape your body is in, you're an athlete. I've been an athlete my entire life. Um, that's how I identify myself. I've always competed in sports. That's who I am, and I competed in grammar school, in high school, and in college. I've competed in triathlons, boxing, um, powerlifting, and my injury has stopped all of that. I haven't been able to do any of it, and it was horrible. So this adaptive program through Navy Safe Harbor and the, and the Wounded Warrior Games has actually has been phenomenal. And being invited to the intro camp in January of last year was the beginning of me being able to have something to look forward to, to actually, wow, I, I could compete in something, I, I could train for something, and that gave me motivation. And I actually lost 35 pounds since last year because I, I had something to train for. And I, and I didn't want to let the team down. And it was phenomenal. And here I am, invited back again, and having the opportunity to possibly be able to represent the Navy again this year. When I first started this program, I, I was scared, I, I was very anxious, I didn't know what I was going to be able to do it, and getting into the, inside the pool, just being able to get to the other end surprised me. Yeah, I, like, I, I was amazed, and being I had never shot a precision rifle before, and you know, being able to get as high of a score as I'm going, I'm, I'm moving I'm moving up in my life and something to a great journey from where I started at rock bottom and now and now I see a whole new future in my in my life. If you fall down you get back up. It, it, it really is that simple. It's, it's not like when my husband joined the military he uh, he anticipated that he was going to have any of the struggles that he's had and uh, when you're faced with a devastating diagnosis or when you're faced with severe psychological problems, you have two choices. You can let it hold you back, you can let it hold you down, you can let it define you, or you can uh, define yourself and get back up and keep pushing through. I want to make good athletes and good citizens is a part of what I'm doing. And I think sport can do that. And uh, for a lot of kids in adaptive sports, when they recognize that they're an athlete, it changes their whole outlook in life. They look you in the eye 
They start take take those handles off my chair, take that anti tip wheel off the back. I'm going for it, you know. And and obstacles aren't obstacles anymore, you know. They they figure out how to get around things. Adaptive Athletics and the Window Warrior Games is just a phenomenal opportunity to come back together to be part of the Navy, to be part of a team, and to experience athletics at a different level. Um, adaptive reconditioning is extremely powerful. We realize not only is it saving lives, uh, but it's helping lives, and it's extremely important throughout their recovery, rehabilitation, and reintegration. So over the last year, we've been introducing adaptive sports to our seriously wounded and injured airmen. And those who were interested in taking that to the next level and entering the competitive track have been working over this past year to define their technique and really get competitive. So now they're here and they are actually competing in those events for the first time that they've trained for over the last year. And so we have uh, nine different sports that they're competing in and they're all here getting their personal best and supporting one another throughout the Air Force trials. The best part of the Air Force trials for me has been uh, seeing other people succeed. Um, there's a lot of new faces out here and people just being able to open up and to cheer each other on, to have uh, people do the best in themselves and, and to see the com camaraderie grow. Um, it's been the best part for me. Coming here, you are embraced by others who have visible as well as invisible wounds and you can reach yourself attainable goals and you got others to encourage you through them because we are our biggest enemy. We're doubting what we're capable of doing, but we have others that remind us that, hey, again, like Essie said, from this top of the staff on down, new caregivers, uh, other members in this adaptive sports program, we're all here together. And it's what I call becoming whole with a broken family. He is a great husband and um, he encourages me uh, to not give up on the things that I dream of uh, as his wife and uh, mother of two uh, young adult sons now. Um, so that is the encouragement. I, I see him come such a long way in this path. Um, you can do this. You can do it too. My mind doesn't shut off a lot. I had to find a way to uh, take myself to other things. So it's, uh, I, don't, I really don't think about where I'm going, it's just the next step is this, the next step is this, and then before I know it, that arrow's been released, or uh, I'm off the block. Um, it's, it's amazing to actually, to, to get these issues I have behind me and still succeed at something, to not have something like that in the way, and to have people that can teach me how to get past that, has been uh, so freeing. We ran into this program and uh, thanks to Felipe actually, he, uh, he was a friend of ours and he knew that we needed help. When we didn't really know we needed help, uh, it was really awesome. We have direction now because of uh, Air Force Wounded Warrior and the adaptive sports. Um, we flew home on January 23rd of 2016 and uh, I watched my husband's inner child come out. I'm not even kidding. It was the most like beautiful moment I had ever like been a part of. It was really great, and uh, and since uh, he's been developing relationships with the kids, uh, the kids play a big part in a lot of stuff that he goes through, and uh, he has a relationship with them. We're we're doing things together, um, less isolation, painting. Music is on our everyday schedule. Um, if it's not painting, it's music. Uh, he's out riding 18 miles on the bike, swimming, taking the kids to the pool to swim, or you know, hiking trails. Uh, we have a beautiful service dog, and that's our direction of our life. And it, that that was not any direction of our life uh, prior. It was more of like, what is going on, and how are we going to fix this? Oh.
Everybody was playing great that game. Way to come back. Yeah. Down one game. Right. We came back. Again, we did find resilience. So now we're gonna continue. And I think we're playing the bridge and we're gonna beat them. That's April 2012, I was clearing a compound with my military working dog. Went up a set of stairs, IED went off, uh, instant amputation below the knee at the time, compound fracture, missing teeth, uh, TBI, lacerations throughout the body. Well, so my job as a security forces instructor, I have a big responsibility as it is, but what I failed to realize is these students have a tendency of Googling me and my story. They've learned things in the past uh, as far as the incident that occurred, the, the, the successes I've had since then. So as we go through Air Force trials, they're still learning to become defenders. They'll learn that what Sergeant Williams was doing for the past uh, 10, 11 days with these warriors. They'll learn about it, they learn, and when they do learn about it, that's success in itself because we're educating the future airmen of the Air Force. Some of these individuals, especially retirees that I've heard a lot from, the Air Force trials gave them a family again because they lost many of their families due to whatever circumstances arose during their recovery. And it, like I said, it gave them a home away from home. One, two, three. The SOCOM trials are an opportunity for all of us wounded warriors, one, to, I think more than anything, get a chance to all, all kind of all get together and at the same time get to know and be introduced to all the different, all the different adaptive sports there are out there. When some of your physical abilities are taken away from you and you're used to, for me, for being, for being, growing up an athlete and then, um, and then losing my leg, I was lost there for a little bit because all the all the sports I knew, all the activities I knew, I, I couldn't do them, or at least I couldn't do them the same. So, an opportunity to see that there's so many different activities and sports out there. Not only that, but at a very high, you know, competitive uh, competitive level, with that competition, with the camaraderie of all the other uh, guys you know, trying it for the uh, first time, or some guys that have been back and did it just an amazing job of, uh, of mentoring. I've had so much fun, and I've learned so much. Couldn't, couldn't have dreamed of a better, a better event, and, you know, makes you hunger to uh, continue to, to compete and, and get ready, hopefully, for the Warrior Games and, and uh, any other camps. You were behind me when I was doing everything that you needed to do when I was fit, when I was at the top of my game. But now that I'm, I'm not, wh where's that support, you know? Um, and I, I believe here that it's, it's, we're getting as much support as we need, as is important for us as individuals to continue to remain productive members of the armed forces so that we can, once that time is served, to continue to remain productive members of society as civilians or as DOD employees or wherever our paths take us after. Um, and that's important to know that we're s supported and we're already loyal to our country so it would be ni it's, it's nicer to know that we can be loyal to corporations and individuals who have our best interests in mind and, and will allow us to at least seek our best self, um, whatever uniform we're wearing. Well, they're bringing in cutting-edge cutting, cutting edge phys therapist people, uh, stuff that you don't see in the regular clinics. Uh, there's a Cleveland clinic that I've been referred to through my peers at SOCOM, not through your regular doctors because you don't hear about this kind of a thing. So it's gathering the information and, and getting put on the right path. A few of them are making sure, for my care personally, 
that I'm checking the blocks, making sure I'm getting the treatment, and making sure I'm connected with the resources out in town. So, so Military Adaptive Sports is phenomenal for that. So the SOCOM trials helped me tremendously in my recovery. Shooting, in particular, a tremendous amount of focus is needed. And so you, you have to put all of your skills together to, for that one shot to make it right. And SOCOM trials get you back into the game. And so I'm, I'm, I'm delighted that SOCOM trials exist for us. For us. So the SOCOM trials gave me hope. Something that I lost for a while. And being around in Tampa on the Air Force Base, different from the Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune, I guess you could say that I doubted myself. And I didn't think that I was able to do any of these sports and the military adaptive reconditioning program has helped me. So the SOCOM trials, they have also helped me as in getting me out of my comfort zone per se. A comfort zone that I had been in for so long that I had lost hope, but was able to try each event and actually kind of mastered some of them. And it was surprising for myself. So that's how I'm just feeling phenomenal being here. All of these sports promote physical fitness, peer-to-peer -peer support, and healthy and sustainable living. All impairments, injuries, and skill levels are supported and encouraged to participate. Finally, Mr. President, in order to start this event off right, we'd like to make you an honorary team member of Team SOCOM. DWB 43. When President Bush said that um, you know, he wanted to dedicate the rest of his life to serving us. It was just, uh, it was extremely humbling. You could tell um, just how, how seriously he took those decisions and, and, and uh, when the mission was at hand, it was something that, that he knew he had to do for the country and, that, and, you know, and we were all willing to do that one because you know, we love, love this country and then um, you know, because him as Commander-in-Chief asked, asked us to do so, and um, so we were just we were honored to do that. This is a, one of the, the vehicle for the Marine Corps to pick athletes to go participate in the Warrior Games. And that's important. But what's really important is uh, we only take 40 athletes uh, to the Warrior Games on the Marine team. And we have a heck of a lot more people that benefit from the competition, uh, uh, both physically and mentally. Uh, so the, the trials is our uh, uh, venue to get all of our, or as many as possible, as our, of our wounded, ill, and injured Marines participating in athletics, competing against somebody else. If you're from Battalion East and you play the same guys all the time, it gives you a chance to compete on a larger scale. And it, it is a crucial step in the recovery process of a recovering service. You never know how much fun you're gonna have until you come out here. My first trials, I didn't have anything to expect, and I came back to Camp Lejeune with the biggest, best experience of my Marine Corps career almost, and um, it's, it's a great experience coming out here, competing with other Marines. If you haven't tried anything before, that you should definitely try it because you don't know what you're missing out on. Military adaptive sports itself uh, gives that recovery, um, that much more of a boost because you get you get to be active, you get that mental release, you get those endorphins, and um, it just makes you a brighter person and um, emotionally brighter. And um, I just think that sport, adaptive military sports can help a recovering service member tenfold. When I was injured, I was a PT stud. I was you know doing this, doing that, 
And then I wasn't, and I couldn't do anything anymore. And for the longest time, I couldn't play any sports. The doctors wouldn't let me do, you know, any hiking, any crazy stuff, right? And I love crazy stuff, but with the with me being introduced to these adaptive sports, I have been able to like reshape, you know, my mindset on, you know, the Marine Corps and the world. And um, the Marine Corps trials matter because we still matter, because we're still in the fight. When I'm wheeling back and forth, and when I'm, you know, handling the ball and looking for someone to pass to and waiting for someone to take up a shot, and when I shot my free throws. Nothing else is on my mind. It's me, the chair, the ball, and the guys around me. And you teach them, you help them, they help you. If you lose, that's okay, you know? It's, it's all about having fun. Right now I got really back back and playing uh, seated volleyball is very painful, but the, playing these sports take the, the pain away, oh, so I don't even concentrate on the pain that much. To say the truth, I didn't even think I could play volleyball and I think I'm also going to be particip participating in wheelchair basketball. I didn't even think I could do it, but they, they told me to try and I actually had fun. And like they say, don't knock until you try. And, and you never know, you might run into somebody you served before that you haven't seen in a long time. Nobody here is comparing injuries. We're all just here to compete and Marine Corps, the Marines by their very nature are very competitive. So it, it helps me to be very competitive. You know, I, I enjoy sports and I haven't been able to enjoy a lot of sports because of my injuries. And so to get out here with these guys, it just makes, for me, it makes life a lot easier because I'm not having to worry about all of the, you know, external problems that happen. I can just come here and, and, and be me and I don't have to worry about it. Everyone's accepting. He's a very tough, strong man. When I mentioned earlier that I'm a little concerned, a little kind of scared that he's out here by himself, that's when I come in and I just kind of calm him down on, you know, the way I know how. Because I kind of taught myself on how to calm him down and sometimes I don't use words, you know, sometimes it's just, I'm just there next to him, me, him feeling me next to him. But um, it, it's been a rough journey with him, you know, but I'm going to be here till the end. Marines out three. One, two, three. Marines! Who wants to have a good job? Good job, Coach. Okay, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Nice job, Tudor. Nice job, Tudor. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. With the Army trials, it allows us uh, an opportunity to pick our team, which will actually represent the Army at the Warrior Games uh, this year in Chicago. So we pick the best of our, uh, of, our, um, of our athletes. Currently we have 79 here competing competitively, um, having a good time, uh, building family uh, and friends. And, uh, and then from this se uh, 79, we'll pick 40 to represent the Army in, uh, the, uh, in the Army um, Warrior Games in Chicago. It's a place for our soldiers to take a knee and um, uh, to take a time out from the, the immense amount of sacrifices uh, that they've provided to our, our nation uh, to fight our wars. And so we've created this um, very comp comprehensive program uh, in order to allow them to get better, to heal their wounds, their injuries, and their illnesses. The best part of the Army trials for me is being able to compete with fellow soldiers that have gone through various physical, emotional, mental complications, hiccups, and um, all being able to succeed. Um, I've made lifelong friendships. Uh, I've met people that have helped me with training, that just offered it because they wanted to see me succeed. Uh, there's, there's nothing that compares. It's been life changing. <coughs> I was in a very, very dark, dark place um, and really trying to figure out why I survived the accident. I shouldn't have survived. And so every day, you know, I struggle with, with that and having to do that and so does my family. And for a military officer who's been trained in planning and strategy and 
um, large scale, you know, big think tank type stuff, to have all of that gone in an instant, there's a huge void and you, you've got to fill it with something. That void is, is what causes depression. Military adaptive sports changes and saves lives. Um, and it does so in, in many ways. This, this event, specifically in my case, uh, my son, I mentioned he lost his right arm in, in our accident. I am learning how to be a better father by watching amputees swim, learn how to swim, um, by watching them race, by watching them throw shot puts, by watching them um, compete at, at the highest of level. I'm able to take this back to my son and I'm able to teach him based off of my own experience. That is invaluable. So I'm now changed as a father because I now know that my son can do it. I'm an eyewitness to it. I've seen it work. I know what has to happen. So I always tell myself, um, my injury doesn't define me, I define it. And I use that and take it to heart because that is the truth. You know, um, I've been injured almost four years now and when I first got injured, I was in denial about a lot of things. I thought I was gonna be able to get back and do things that I used to do, but obviously that didn't work out for me. But it's not the end of the world. Yes, I, I do adaptive sports, but that doesn't mean I have to stop there. I can go further and beyond. I've always been an athlete. I played sports in high school and junior high and everything else. So when they tell you you can't do something, they take it away from you. You're like, well, what am I to do now? And then after about a year of rec therapy at Walter Reed asking me to play adaptive sports, I finally gave it a try and I found my new purpose. You know, I'm a very competitive person. Yes, everybody wants to win. But at the end of the day, regardless of who we're going against, what branch it is, we're all a family. And that right there is victory to me. Really, I have a chronic nerve pain and uh, due to my accident, um, the, the pain is just sporadic. And uh, for the first, I wanna say for the first year after my accident, I was taking hard narcotics and my, my wife is a nurse. And uh, you know, she was just concerned about one, the addiction to it, and two, the long-term damage it could do on my body. With her help, I, I kind of weaned myself off of it and just learned to deal with the pain. And I've learned through the through the adaptive sports that while I'm engaged, I don't feel the pain. So, it, like while I'm competing, it it works. It's perfect. It's like its own medicine. I've set some higher goals. Starting here for me, this is to me, like even though I've, I've achieved so much, now being a part of this adaptive sports program, it's like the base. I feel like now it's like the base of my goals. So now I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to guys and they're talking about Paralympics and Victor's Games and things like this. And I come, I come here to the, uh, to the Army Trials for the Warrior Games and I do well, it's like, this is the ground level. If I could do well here, I can continue to train. Who knows, maybe I can go to Invictus Games or I, I can be a Paralympian. That sounds crazy just to say it, like a Paralympian, but this, this is really where it starts. <laughs>